We are all learning new things every day. We learn from reading books, watching videos, and within and outside the classroom. But how well do we remember all of the new things we read, see, and learn? What goes on inside our heads while we're reading and learning is extremely important and determines how well we remember what we learned. The smartest learners throughout history, like Einstein, Shakespeare, and Marie Curie, mastered reading and learning memory strategies that helped them become the successful people they were. We can learn from their strategies. Many connections are made inside your brain when you read, see, or hear something new. By structuring these connections into organized chunks and associating them together using text structure organization, you can remember what you learn better. By remembering what you learn, you can become the next Marie Curie. Let's take a closer look at these famous learners' text structure techniques. So how did Marie Curie train her mind? Two text structure techniques commonly used together by expert thinkers are cause and effect and problem and solution. Let's see this in action. Imagine reading about a problem that was eventually solved. You can structure the various elements of this type of story into chunks. Let's look at a historical example for context. Before the invention of the lightning rod, the threat of a thunderstorm was a big problem for homeowners. Lightning's attraction to metal allowed it to easily travel into people's houses and destroy their home. Here we can see the cause and effect of the story. The cause is the lightning. The effect is the destruction of property. But wait, this story has a happy ending. Benjamin Franklin became interested in this particular problem due to his research and experimentation with electricity. To solve this problem, he invented the lightning rod, which kept the lightning from entering the home. Here we can see the problem and solution of the story. Because the destruction of property was a negative effect, it can be identified as the problem. The solution, thanks to Franklin, is the lightning rod. When you integrate cause and effect and problem and solution text structures, you start organizing your facts into a chunked memory structure. In this format, you can see that the cause is the first chunk. Then you see the effect of that cause. If the effect is negative, this chunk can also represent your problem. Finally, you can see how the problem was solved. Note that this allows the information to be strategically organized, carefully associated, and chunked to make it efficient to recall when needed. This also allows you to monitor and check your understanding. I can go from node to node and check my understanding and think, do I have all the information I read about the lightning rod? Do I remember what the problem was? Do I remember what caused the problem? I can walk through my text structure to find out what I missed. Now you know, so get out there and do it! The next time you are reading or learning something new, listen and look for linking words like problem, issue, question, puzzle, solution, and answer. Then take action. Picture the connections you are making in your brain and organize them into cause and effect and problem and solution chunks. Who knows, maybe you can be the next Marie Curie. So, do you want to become a master learner? There are five text structures that are useful in organizing almost all information you read. We just learned about problem and solution and cause and effect. Watch more text structure videos to learn about comparison, sequence, and description.